Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to gain S off, flash a custom recovery image, and root your Android phone using the revolutionary method. Okay, so before you begin, this is a developer release, so it's not the easiest method as of yet, um, but it is still pretty easy. They will release more stable versions as time goes on, uh, and the link that we have listed here will link you to those more stable versions, and the procedure will be basically the same. So, if you don't wanna wait, you wanna get started now, you can use this procedure as is, or if you wait, the same procedure will work for the later versions. Basically, what this tool does is it unlocks the H-boot, um, giving you S off, and on certain devices, it'll actually unlock NAND write protection completely. Basically what that means is that it allows us to flash things from bootloader, for example, ROMs, recovery images, etc., uh, so that we can do more things like flash custom ROMs, etc. Now, this doesn't give you root access straight off the bat, but once you do use this tool, it's as simple as flashing a .zip file um, or a couple of files and that will give you root access. So it is still a very easy method of getting root access on a lot of these devices that it's pretty hard to normally get root access on. With that being said, here is the list of the devices that the developers claim it works on. If your device is on this list, you can use this tool. If it's not, you can try it. And if it doesn't work, it errors out, then you know it just doesn't work. Please let us know in the comments if there are devices that are not listed here that it does work for. Okay, so since now we've switched to a Windows computer, first thing you do is download the Fastboot drivers for Windows. So click on that link there and save that to your computer. I'm going to save it to my desktop so we can find it easier. And there we go. Okay, now on my desktop, I'm going to find it. Right click it and hit Run as Administrator. If you don't have that option, just click Open and wait for it to extract itself. And we're going to click Next and wait for it to install the drivers. Okay, so now we're going to download the revolutionary tool from the developer site by clicking on this link here. Scroll down, we're going to choose our version, so either Linux or Windows, and then we're just going to save that to our desktop. Okay, so once we've saved to our desktop, you're going to see a beta key thing right here. Select your operating system, the device you're using, and then you'll see something HBoot and serial number. Those are things we have to get from the device, so we'll get those right now. Okay, so for our beta key for the program, we do need our serial number and our bootloader version. So the easiest way to get both of those real quick is to turn off your device, then take out the battery. Now underneath the battery you have your SN, which is your serial number. Write that down. Don't use mine, it's not going to do any good. Uh, it'll, they're specific to each device and you need the one for your device. Um, but So we're going to write that down. Then we're going to put the battery back in, put the back back on and you're gonna hold down volume down and power and keep holding it. Until you get to this screen. Now if you look closely at this screen, you'll see HBoot up there at the top. That's your HBoot version, which they were asking for, also called your bootloader version. One, mine's 117.00008. So, Write that down, the serial number, and we're gonna put those into the tool, and that'll give us our beta key. Okay, so now that I have that information, I'm gonna select my bootloader version. Select which one you have, not the one I'm selecting. I'm also gonna put in my serial number. Now, do not put in my serial number into your beta key, because then you won't get the proper key. You have to use your serial number. So put yours in here, the same way that I'm putting mine in here now. Okay, so once you put that in there, click Generate Key, and we're going to highlight this, and then we're gonna copy it, and paste it into, say, a notepad, just so we have it. And then go back here, and once you're done with this procedure, please come back here and donate to these developers as they worked really hard, uh, and if, if this works for you, it's just something nice to do. Also, leave some feedback and let them know how it worked out for you. So we're gonna leave this open and go to the next step. Okay, so now you're gonna plug in your device via USB. Okay, depending on your device, it might pop up this screen. 
Uh, do not select any of these. Make sure you select charge only and hit done. If it doesn't pop up that screen, you may just get a notification up here that says mount SD card. Just do not select it. Make sure that all we're doing is charging the device. We're not accessing the memory card, etc. at this point. Okay, also on the device, we're gonna select menu, settings, applications, development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Click OK, and then you can hit home. Now it should start to install other drivers at this point. Okay, now you should see that all the drivers were installed and all that fun stuff. Just click close, and we're going to right click the zip file that we downloaded for uh, Revolutionary. Hit extract, and we're just gonna extract it to its own folder here on the desktop to make it easy. Then we're gonna open that folder, and we're gonna right click the .exe file, Revolutionary file in there, and hit run as administrator. Again, if you don't have that option, just select open. And it should open a command prompt, and it's gonna ask us for our beta key. So we're gonna take this beta key here, and we're gonna type it in to the command prompt. And once you've done that, you're gonna hit enter, and it should begin its process. Again, do not type in my serial number here, type in yours, otherwise this won't work. Uh, and then we're just gonna let it go and let it do its thing. Okay, now eventually it's gonna reboot your device a bunch of times, and then it'll ask you if you want to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. We're going to type in Y and hit Enter because we want Clockwork Recovery on our device. And then let it continue. Okay, then eventually we'll say Success. And now we're going to check to make sure Clockwork Recovery flashed. Okay, once we're done with that, we're going to check to make sure we have Recovery Image. So we're going to take out the battery, put it back in, and then turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power. So we get this screen again, it should still say off, revolutionary. We're gonna scroll, push down on volume to get to recovery, hit power to select, you should be presented with this custom recovery image. If that's done, then you're all set. You now have S off and a custom recovery image. Now, if you want to get root, we'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so now that we know we have Clockwork Command Recovery, we're going to use it to gain root access. So, on the screen here, you're going to scroll down to mounts and storage using the volume keys. And we're push power to select mounts and storage. Then we're going to scroll up twice to get to mount USB storage. Select power again. And it should say that it's selected, etc. Then you're going to plug in your USB cable. Okay, so now that we've mounted our SD card, we can see that clearly here on our computer as removable disk. Going to put that out of the way for a second. And on our site, we're going to download the root.zip file by clicking on that link and again saving it to our desktop. Once it's saved there, we're going to actually take the .zip file, leave it as a .zip, do not extract it, and we're going to copy it over to our SD card. This way it's now on the root of our SD card, it's not in any folders, it's just a removable disk and then the file. Okay, now on the device then, we can select unmount now and unplug the device. And we're going to hit go back and then install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then we're gonna select that su signed.zip file that we just downloaded. Scroll to yes, install. And wait for it to install. Okay, once that is done, select go back, then reboot system now, and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once your device fully reboots, open the app drawer, and scroll down, and you should see super user in your app drawer. If you do, you should be rooted, you have S off, uh, and you have a custom recovery image. You can now go on to either just download and install root required applications, or you can even flash a custom ROM or 
radio, etc. Um, in order to do that, head to our next procedure linked at the bottom of this page. Otherwise, you're all set. Enjoy.